We just finished our first night boondocking. We didn't have any issues at all. We had the heat going all night long. Uh, ran some of the power. Had hot water this morning. And now we're headed north. Headed to Seattle to see our son and have lunch. It's Easter morning. We are in Cloverdale, Oregon. Lots of cows, little cafes, cute little town. We woke up with the uh, ocean waves and warm coffee. It was a nice morning. Onward north. State Park. We just took a cool little drive up to this lookout point and one of the reasons why I wanted to come here so badly is this is where Goonies was filmed right behind me. You can see the waterfall. I think we're gonna try to walk down there and see where it takes us. There's a little trail that says beach access. This is my bucket list. Probably one of the top five places I've been wanting to come since I was a little kid. So thank you Jimmy for bringing me here. The drive up um, was pretty hairy, like really windy. And again, this is why we're thankful to be in the vehicle that we are, because if we had a large motorhome or a truck with a trailer, we would not be here. So I think we all grew up watching the movies. Well, I had that imagination when I was a kid, and these were the kind of adventures we always wanted to go on. So it's kind of cool being here. Let's go find a pirate ship. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize We're hiking along this fabulously muddy trail to get to the beach access and um, it's quite entertaining, lots of steps I'm trying not to fall on my butt. I'd kind of like to see Jim fall on his butt. Anyway, it's really nice to get out of the van for a while because finding that combination of driving and actually getting out can be a challenge. And, shoot, hold on. We only drove for a few hours today. Um, trying to get to Seattle but how can you pass this up right take a little walk in the mud I'm gonna put this down before I fall in my butt I want to build my life on empty words being so damn naive it only hurts I'm so tired of walk and right in front of me is Haystack Rock. I think it's low tide because of this little river here running through here. River. It's actually a gorgeous day too. Looking back on Hawaii. The weather has really blessed us on this trip. Right behind me is Haystack Rock. Took a little walk over there and it's a beautiful day to walk along the beach. It's 
so many people out here, lots of dogs. It's gorgeous. The love was made for me. Oh well. We're leaving Cannon City now, and I have to say that I have one regret, and that's not coming a little bit earlier during the day or planning to stay here for the entire day because I didn't realize that there was so much to see. So many restaurants and little shops, lots of people, but not too many people. It seems like it's the perfect time of year to come. The weather is beautiful. We couldn't ask for more, but I guess that's just part of being on a road trip. There's places you want to you want to stay and see more of, but um, we got to keep going. You know, we have a little bit of a time limit, time crunch that we're on. So um, off to Seattle. I'd like to tell you a little story about how this all started. Um, Jim and I were tent campers every summer and he swore up and down that we would never have a motorhome. And we started looking into little travel trailers, little pop-up campers. And I was thinking about refurbishing one. We were driving down the road and we saw this travel trailer that had a toy hauler in the back so we could take the motorcycles along. And we started researching online travel trailers, pop-up campers, and our search continued and we started looking at bigger motorhomes. Like, wow, we'd love to have a huge motorhome that we could put our motorcycles in the back. I think we spent a couple of months researching like Newmar, Canyon Stars, and the Thor Outlaw. Our hearts were pretty set on a motorhome. And somehow, at some point, I stumbled across vans and I was like, you know, maybe we should consider a van because it goes everywhere. It We could, um, hold the motorcycles behind us if we need to. I don't know, all these thoughts just started going through our heads and we started to look at vans. And now that we're on this trip, we are starting to see these huge motorhomes that people have as their homes that are carrying their cars behind them. And it looks like they're really limited as to where they can go in and out of. We've been able to go in and out of wherever we want, park in a normal camp spot, go down the small roads, and I have absolutely no regrets about deciding on a van. There were things about the Coachman Galleria that we loved, but now I, I don't even have any regrets about not getting the Coachman Galleria. I have no buyer's remorse. The one thing that I wasn't ready for or expecting is how much attention we're getting on this trip. I've given two walkthroughs so far to a, two different couples and I had to turn one guy down because he wanted to come in and see it while Jim was, he wasn't with me so I wasn't comfortable. But I, everywhere we go people stop and they ask us about it and that was the thing about the Coachman Galleria that I liked is it was kind of stealthy, it was black, it flew under the radar, it looked like a typical passenger van that may be a little bit longer. But I have no problem showing off the Rebel because um, if I was to see it going down the road, I'd probably want to see the inside too. So no regrets on our purchase. I'm super happy with it. I was just as blue right as the sky could ever be. Loving you has made me realize. I'm so tired of love. here in Astoria, Oregon, and this is um, the, the first mansion built in this area because Captain George Flavel was the first to be a millionaire. First mansion built in Astoria. I'd like to go inside, but since it's Easter, it's closed. We found something right across the street that we weren't quite expecting, and it's one of the reasons why we came here. And, um, one of the good reasons to come on Easter, there's nobody here. So you guys remember the Goonies? Who couldn't forget it? Classic, right? Look what we found. The jail that they broke out of. It looks like it's open, so we're gonna go ahead and try to go inside and see what's in there. Um, the top says Oregon Film Museum. 
head. Clap top county courthouse. <laughs> Clap count. <laughs> Clap Top County Courthouse. I wonder if they'll let me film in there. If not, what's that? I'm probably aging myself a little bit here, but that's okay. If you haven't seen The Goonies, you have to watch it. And since it's Easter and my kids are at home and we're on this trip, I FaceTimed my daughter and she had stayed the night with some friends last night. And my daughter's of course seen The Goonies because it's one of my favorite movies, but the two friends that she was with had never seen it. So I told them that tonight they have to go watch this movie. Let's go inside. I'm so tired of start to dry that white house right there and even when the sun begins to shine again i've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped i'm so tired of love songs sick and tired of love songs i'm so tired of you Ooh. well that was funny uh we were driving along the road and it's quite a hill up to the Goonies house and it's sitting up of course on top of a hill and I was taking pictures and a video and there's a big sign that says no videoing or filming of the house but you know we had to be typical tourists and do what we had to do to get a picture. Sitting there just kind of looking at it wondering oh I wonder if anybody lives there why didn't they turn it into a museum. There's a cop behind us. <laughs> Move your butt. So I can only imagine, you know, if you live in that house or um, even in that neighborhood, how many thousands of people go by there because it just wasn't only us. There was two other cars that were trying to get a shot of it as well, but we got it. It was worth it. <laughs> I'm so tired of 